Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can import or convert a static mesh into a vehicle like this Firebird here or this truck here with the same concept. So let's go! First of all this is an update video of my vehicle import tutorial, of course links in the description. The update is the skeletal mesh editor which allows you to do the whole process in the Unreal Engine itself without the need of an additional software like Blender. All you need are static meshes that represent the core. For example we have this Firebird here, as you can see, which is just a static mesh. Also we have some doors, a steering wheel and the wheel itself. So let's start. To convert this into a drivable car. We select the Firebird here and just go right click Convert to Skeletal Mesh. As you can see we will create a new one, the root bone is the center of course. And then we have some naming services. You can just keep it like this and hit Convert. Looks a little bit weird but you can ignore this since we don't see this later. Let's open up the Skeletal Mesh here and go to the Skeleton tab. As you can see we just have this root bone here. And we just click on Edit Skeleton and we can select Add. Then we select the root and click somewhere. And now you can see we have a new bone. We select this, hit Ctrl C and just copy this to the root here. Of course we need four bones for four wheels here. And now we need to place them exactly where they belong to. So let's select the first joint for example and rename this to FL. The second one will be FR. Then we have RL and of course RR. And then we just place them where they belong to. For example we select the front left, hit the edit here and now we can place them where we want to. So I'll skip the process. As you can see we have now the bones placed where they belong to. So we can close this one here. Next we need a physical asset. So right click, create physics asset, create and assign. We select the multi-convex hull and create asset here. So we have the physics now for the core. We click on this one here and say show all bones. Then we select the bones for the car and hit the sphere and say add bones. And now we have the complete physical asset for the car. Should be looked like this one here. Then we hit save and can close this as well. Next we need the car itself. So we go back to our vehicle template. Of course if you don't have it you can just import it by hit add. Add feature or content pack and select the vehicle and add to project. Then we open up the blueprints. I already created a folder for the Firebird. And all we have to do is go to the sports car and copy the pawn here as well the wheels front and where. I already did that as you can see and renamed it. And what we have to do is assign the radius and the width of the wheel. Of course you can play around with this value which is fitting your car. And then we just paste the sports car here and rename it. For fire bird pawn. Open this up. And we need to do some adjustments. First of all we open up the details of the mesh. Then we go to here and select our firebird here like this one. So the first thing we have to do is we search for visible and check the visible to false. Then we go down to here and say the collision preset is custom and select the world dynamic to ignore. Very important for later. Then let's go back to our folder where we have our vehicle. And then we just select the static mesh for the firebird here. And go to add static mesh. So now we have the vehicle, so the body. Then we select the wheel and 
do the same thing, add wheel, let's call this one, and then we just copy and paste this, like this one here, go to the details, also we select all the static meshes here as well, and go down to the collision preset, and also go to custom, and ignore the world dynamic, then we select the first wheel here, and select the parent socket to FL, second one to FR, then the RL, and then the RR. As you can see, we need to rotate both of these ones here, in my case, like that. Compile and save this. The last part is we go to the vehicle movement component, and we need to rename the bone names in this case to FL, FR, RL, and RR. And select the wheel class to our new created one, so the Firebird, wheels front, front, rear, and rear. Compile and save this, and that's basically it. So let's go to our level here, select the project settings, maps and modes, and we select our Firebird Pawn. And we now hit play. We have our Firebird. Everything looks good. And we can drive around. And as I said before, we can do the same thing for the truck. All we need are static meshes that represents the truck here. Same thing, we create the skeletal mesh. The only difference is that we have now six bones for six wheels here, but the same thing, we have a physical asset, and then we have the blueprint here for the truck. Same thing, we have the truck wheels here and the truck pawn. As you can see, we have, in this case, six wheels, which are different. We have the truck body, which is ahead of the normal part here. As you can see, these are separated parts. And the only special thing is, of course, the vehicle movement has six elements where we have six wheels. And then we do the same thing, project settings, maps and modes, and select our truck pawn here, hit play, and it also works with the same concept. Great. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.